What's up everyone, Dapper here, and we're back playing some more Marble World! Today we're continuing the Marble Run that Khan and I have been working on, so the first thing we need to do is spawn some marbles, because the marbles do take a while to make it through this course. So for those that are new, this is a multiplayer course where each of us takes turns building a section of the track. So Khan started by building this uh, awesome waterfall. I made this weird invisible track thing to try to fool Khan, which didn't really work, but hey, it's kind of cool. Uh, we, it also goes through uh, this course here that is visible. And uh, as soon as we get through this, uh, Khan also made this awesome tornado, which we have to wait to start up because for some reason I made this track take a long time. Anyway, the marbles are starting to make it through here. And as you can see, the tornado is starting to form, which is super awesome. Uh, the next thing that I made is a monster under the bed that sucks in marbles and we are about to check out what Khan built and I will be seeing it in the world for the first time here in action especially after the changes were made so apparently Khan told me he made a bunch of changes here he made all these pipes uh he let me know that a lot of them were getting backed up through here so it looks like it's working very flawlessly now and let's take a look at this thing what is happening here this is a particle accelerator. Uh, I definitely need to turn this down just so we can see this in action. Oh, we're getting some collisions there. That is awesome. What the heck? Look at that. That's just amazing. So yeah, the marbles are flying out towards each other and smacking into one another. And then uh, he left me this giant pipe here. So we get to make something cool off of this. So that's what we're gonna do. I do have an idea in mind of what we're gonna do with this. I think I'm gonna be making a gumball machine. So I'm gonna be using this pipe to hopefully funnel it up on top of the gumball machine. And uh, I think I'm just gonna have that fill up while it slowly leaks out. I know we've already made things that are really backed up like this, all the marbles get backed up here. So <laughs> I figured what's the harm in adding one more thing that'll do that. Um, I'm hoping, now I, I don't know if I'm going to do this yet, but I'm considering making it a two-lane downward spiral um, for the gumball machine. Because I do want the gumball machine to have like the big glass container up top, but then I also want them to swirl all the way down like uh, some of the gumball machines out there in the real world. I don't know if that's going to be possible, if we're going to do one at a time or not, but uh, it'd be really cool to make it have multiple at a time go down. Anyway, we are going to start building this. Uh, I think I'm just gonna grab, I'm gonna delete the marbles here, I think I'm just gonna grab a few track pieces and see where we can take it. Now I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet, uh, but we might have to do a little bit of elevator action here. I was thinking about maybe putting it right here, but I don't know if there's enough room to maneuver the pipes. Maybe there is. Uh, I can't bring it up too far because we do have his pipes going on there, so I might have to turn this here. So I'm just gonna lay out like a, a practice area or what could be where the track goes. So if we bring it back up and then do a couple of curved pieces, like so, I might be able to drop the marbles down into the gumball machine like that. But I might need to make this more straight. So yeah, I am gonna make this more straight and see if that looks a little better. And after I lay this out and get an idea of where I want to put the gumball machine, I'm just going to start building this, the, the machine separate from the entire track. So let me just place a couple things here. Okay, something like that should work. That should be able to fill up a gumball machine. So that would be kind of cool. Anyway, I'm going to start building the gumball machine separate, I think. I mean, that might be a good height for it, to be honest. Um, I could change it later, but I think we're gonna start from the ground up on this one I think it'll be a lot easier to get an idea of how tall I want it to be and how I want it to end Because I know how the top's gonna be I mean, we're basically just gonna make a big glass dome and have the marbles fill up inside of it and then they're slowly trickle out so I Think we're gonna start with a downwards curve and we might use something like this that would be very interesting. So I'm gonna start placing some of these just to see how it would look. And uh, hmm, maybe we won't use something like that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna start with a straight piece here, just so I have a connecting point. We're looking at downwards curves. So how? Oh, so that might work. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's big enough yet, though. 
All right, well, let's put one of these down just to see. Okay, we have, so we have that curve. What else do we got? I think we might go with one of the bigger curves, like a 90 degree. Something like that may, ooh, what if we did both? Oh my gosh, what if we did a spiral, a big spiral and a little spiral inside the big spiral and we had two paths going? That would be really cool. Okay, so I'm putting this down now. Okay, so there we have a little spiral inside of a big spiral. And I'm wondering, are there any other turns? So this would be a huge spiral. I don't know, that might be a little too big for the gumball machine I'm going for. Like, look at the, oh my God. Like, there's no way. There's no way we're gonna make a gumball machine that big. I mean, I feel like the big spiral's already pushing it a little bit as far as how big I wanted this to be. So, uh, we might have to move it as well. I don't know if we're gonna have room to kind of set it right in here, uh, especially with this little guitar uh, right there. So, hmm. Yeah, I definitely don't think we're gonna be doing any kind of custom downwards pieces. I think that would just take way too long, but something like this would be pretty cool. I'm just gonna copy paste this a few times. All right, I think I need to start building this a little bit further away because it's really hard to work on next to everything. Like I'm grabbing things somewhere else right now. There we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this and kind of move it over into the open here. Perfect. Okay, so I think the hard part is going to be filling this. Getting these to fill in here. And also, well, I could have marbles drop down here as well. That would be interesting. All right, I just need to make sure that these exit around the same area. There, that works. So if they're both exiting there, and then they both enter somewhere around there. And uh, let me see the height on this just to make sure it kind of all lines up. Okay, so that's a pretty cool gumball machine. It, I might be able to raise it up just a little bit. I don't know. I think <clears throat> the next thing I should do is start working on the ball. Like the glass ball that's going to be filled with marbles. So I really don't know how I'm going to do that yet. Possibly with decorations. Maybe something like this. Or maybe even some track shapes or some track pieces. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do now is build a couple domes and see what looks the best. And uh, then we will continue other parts. Okay, so this dome is looking pretty good. Uh, I made the outside of it completely invisible. So it looks like we have a nice little dome here. And I'm just now, I made a copy so that I can have something like that. So now we have an entrance up top and an exit down below. So that's looking pretty good. I might need to make this entrance uh, smaller possibly. I don't know, I was hoping that this would fill up with marbles. And I don't know if it's going to do that the way it's sitting now. So let me take this over here. Uh, I will get the elevator set up and uh, let's just see how it fills up. All right, so I got a little elevator set up here. Hopefully it works. We're just waiting on the marbles to make it over here now. And I just want to see how this thing works, how it fills up. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. I think a lot of the marbles might actually get stuck up here. So I should get some boosters ready just to make sure they all go towards the center. Interesting. Oh, so my boosters aren't even affecting them. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to do something like that. Now, I don't know if this is ever gonna fill up. Uh, I guess we can speed it up to see, but I might have to purposely kind of clog them. I, you know, I was hoping this gumball machine would be kind of like full of gumballs, you know? At this rate, that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So, 
Um, okay, I should just go ahead and get those marbles moving. <laughs> Downwards, I wonder if something like this would help. This also might help for looks. I mean, that just looks cool. Somehow, I need to make a splitter so that when the marbles come down here, they split between these two tracks. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. It's actually filling up much better. So I think that's definitely what we're going to be doing here. That's kind of perfect. I'm hoping it eventually gets more, but as long as it, it still kind of flows a little bit constantly, that's perfect. See, I wanted the best of both worlds. I wanted it to fill up, and I also want it to drain pretty quickly. So I don't know if I can have the best of both worlds, but so far it's actually working pretty decently. That looks actually really good. Now, I don't know if I should do the inside here like a gray. No. I don't think black would look better. I think it does. I think we're gonna go with black because look at the color difference. Like the, the marbles are so washed out here. But they actually look more colorful here. So I think I'm actually gonna do that real quick. And by real quick, I mean I'm gonna do this painfully for a couple minutes. Uh, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know, it just looks, it looks so weird having it darker. Darn it, I'm gonna go back and undo it now. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, so I painted the color back. Um, I also painted this in, this little dish inside here. Uh, I don't know if it's actually center. I don't know if that'll be a problem, but I'm just gonna center this real quick. Now, I don't know if the marbles can actually get under the dish. Since I did move the dish before, or while there were marbles on top of it last time, so I'm gonna run it again just to make sure. Because if they do get under the dish, I'm gonna have to block off the edges here somehow. Uh, I'm also gonna make another dish here. Something like that, and we will paint it not that color. There we go. Something like that. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty cool to me so far. So I'm gonna start moving this over. Okay, that looks sick. That looks super cool. <laughs> um, okay, it's a little off, I think. Hmm. As much as I like this outer layer, I don't know if it looks right. Like, I feel like the bottom is just too thick. I don't know. We might use it, we might not. Oh my gosh, I'm grabbing weird things. I'm just gonna move it to the side. I'm gonna try to move forward without this for now. I mean, as cool as it would be, it just looks like the base has too much on it. I want this to be like a traditional gumball machine, you know? Like that. That looks about right. Even though this somehow looks off. Okay, so yes, this looks so good so far. That's insane. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna roll with the single one for now. Uh, again, I might add this back in, but I really don't know if uh, if, it'll look, if it'll look right. It just, it's too big almost. Uh, I'm just gonna work on a way for the marbles to make it from this jar or container down to this track. And I might still make two paths, I don't know. For now, I'm just gonna have all the marbles go through this thing. I'm working on a custom shape right now, and hopefully I can get this figured out. Okay, so I made this little catcher area. Hopefully the marbles don't like fly out of here. I'm just waiting for some of them to get here now and uh, we can see how this works. Okay, so, so far it's working pretty darn good. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to boost this area, but that's no problem. I'm actually gonna pause it now, just so I don't have to wait for the marbles to get here again. So I'll put a booster here. 20 is way too much. Wow, they are coming through here so fast. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize there's like a tornado in here. It's like a funnel. Oh my gosh. Okay, well I might need one of these because uh, 
Uh, a lot of them are probably gonna fall in here if I don't do something like this. I did say I wanted it to get backed up, so maybe this is it. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna move this something like that. I might need to go back and rework this because this is not looking very good, but I guess if it works, and the overall thing looks really good, so. So it gets slightly jammed, but other than that, that's pretty darn good. Oh, I didn't realize how many marbles we still have coming. These are all at the beginning. How? Did I hit the button again? I don't know. This looks amazing. All right, I think I'm gonna paint this. Okay, so that looks pretty darn good. Now I think I need to make a case for it and uh, maybe a base. The base should be pretty easy though. I was thinking I'd just use this. So now I'm thinking about moving the whole thing like right here. Because uh, it is sitting, gonna be sitting on the carpet here. But yeah, I think the last thing I need to do, because everything's just working perfectly, uh, is just put like a case around this whole thing. You know, like a like a glass covering, <laughs> I guess. It looks so good in the open though, too. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Alright, I'm gonna do that just to make it go all the way to the floor. Wow, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, what do I have to do here, though? I need to grab that. So, I will do that now. I'm gonna grab all of this. Okay, now I need to move this whole thing over. <laughs> Which is gonna be kind of scary. Whoa! Okay, I gotta turn off snapping. No, what happened? Shoot, I did not grab all of it. Okay, I think that's good. It's so close to this track though, I have to be careful. If I do make a case around this, uh, I gotta make sure it doesn't clip into this. Okay, I think I've decided to put it here, uh, just so it doesn't interfere with this. Um, I don't think the base is big enough, so I am gonna try to use one of these bigger ones. Wow, yeah, that actually might work. But, oh yeah, that's too big. Okay, so looks like I'm gonna be using this. All right, now I'm going to get those track pieces, the curved ones. And we are going to build a case. I don't know, guys. Now the case thing looks bad to me. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. We're not doing a case. I don't care if it's not like... It just... It looks bad. It looks so bad. Okay, we're leaving it as an open concept. But I'm going to give it some kind of structure. So I'm thinking something along the lines of this. Okay, so I'm thinking something like that. I want to give it some kind of structure. I don't want this to be floating. So I think I'm going to make a couple pieces off of this just to make it look good, and then we'll call it a day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think it is finally complete. Um, I am going to make a couple tracks off of this. Actually, I think these are unnecessary. Uh, Khan can take it in whatever direction he wants. Uh, I'm just going to leave that so that he can build off of this. Anyway, I am now going to start this up and see how it works. This will be the first run. I already kind of have the marbles halfway through here a little bit. 
I'm excited. Let's see this thing. I mean, it looks so good. Like, oh my gosh. I can't believe how well this turned out. I'm really glad I decided to get rid of the, the casing. I mean, it was just looking terrible with the casing. But uh, I think this looks super good. Like, what? This is a gumball machine. Like, this is insane. So, we're just waiting on the marbles now. As soon as the marbles get here... All right, the marbles are starting to get here. We have our first customer going in. Uh, let's check out cons real quick. Let's just uh, watch this kind of in action till it fills up a little bit more. So we're seeing some smacking going on. They're starting to fall in. That is good. Here we go. We're starting to get some numbers and look at that. Now we have some gumballs. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. And then look at them all roll down. Holy cow. This is great. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe how well this turned out. All the marbles come over here. They just sort of fall in. And uh, it fills up a little bit, but this is a pretty big bowl. Like there's really no way for it to actually fill up unless we did like a ton, a ton of waves. But we might do that. I might send a few more waves down, but the more waves I send, as you can see below target FPS, that is not looking good. It is extremely slowed down now. We're gonna have to wait a while for the marbles to get here, but this is working perfectly. Like, look at this, it's a gumball machine. Okay, we might get a little stuck in here. I actually can't tell. Okay, so I do have some fixing to do. Um, Let me see, yeah, we're not 100% lined up anymore. I'm not really sure what happened, Uh, but one of my pieces got moved. All right, we're gonna do a couple tweaks here. I'm gonna fix a few things, darn it. I'm gonna fix a few things, and then uh, we're gonna follow a marble all the way through this run. Okay, I've spawned some marbles. Now I'm just gonna wait for them to get over here. All right, here we go. The marbles have finally made it over here, and this is just so cool. Oh my gosh, I could not believe how well this turned out. And uh, I spawned a ton of marbles on this one, so we might get actually get some uh, some marble build up here. And but just look at this! What the heck? This just looks so cool! Oh my gosh! This is like a little light bulb too. I'm glad I placed some extra ones in here, I, extra funnels. It really gave it a whole new look. And uh, wow, this whole thing just makes me smile. This is amazing! Oh, holy cow. All right, so it looks like we don't get any more tornado action here, but it's still fine. It still works perfectly. Uh, the tornado action was pretty cool, but this is so cool. What the heck? All right, I think it is now time to follow a marble. Uh, we're going to see a marble go all the way through this course. Um, we're not going to do a race. Just cause I want to see, I want to make the marble to go all the way through. If I did a race, I would have to add a ton of track here and then block it off. And then the marble we pick might not even, like it might get stuck over here. But I want to see it go all the way through. So I'm going to pick a super cool marble. What marble am I going to pick? Uh, this one. Marble 2. So let's follow this marble and see what happens. And I'm also gonna increase the speed a little bit. Here we go, down the waterfall. Let's hope this marble doesn't get shot out. We are now part of the stampede of marbles. Oh, here we go, through the invisible portion of the course. Back down to the river here. And now we're gonna continue on. Oh, it looks like we're going through the little uh, spinny thing there. Going around the corner, we're about to hit the jump. Here we go. Oh, that's so awesome. We're rolling up the elevator here. All right, so now we're about to, oh, please. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think I put invisible walls there, so I don't think I would have fallen off, but uh, that was still scary. Anyway, uh, we're now at the slow portion of the course. This is gonna go a little bit slower, but you know, it's still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. Uh, we might cut some positions here. Oh yeah, I forgot I put some boosters in here to kind of keep them moving. And, uh, ooh, not the best camera angle because now we're watching the marbles above. Uh, so hopefully we are almost through this because I uh, can't really see. Oh, there's our marble. Here we go. Now we're on to the bigger corkscrew. And we are almost to the tornado. 
Uh, I'm just hoping the monster doesn't get too clogged and we don't have to wait too long to get through there. Uh, I tried to fix that issue before sending the file over, but I'm not sure if it's 100% fixed. We're, I guess we're about to find out, at least for the beginning marbles. It shouldn't get clogged until a ton of marbles start making it there. Anyway, we've made it through the tornado. Super awesome. That was made by Khan. Now we're moving on to the under the bed monster. It is going to hopefully suck up our marble. It's trying to. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> we got sucked in. Nice. We're going now through the monster and we're about to go out the tail. And yeah, I tried to fix this area too, but there really wasn't much I could do. But uh, it looks like we made it through actually really quick. So now we're on to the section that Khan fixed here. Uh, it's now all tubes and oh my gosh, it works perfectly. Just kind of flies through. All right. Hopefully our marble hit something in the, par the particle accelerator. Oh, it might have gotten hit. It looked like it did. Oh, shoot. I thought we were going to make it through super quick. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're going to be stuck up here until we make it down this funnel. Hopefully that doesn't take too long with all the marbles hitting us. Come on. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, no. We got knocked a little bit. Oh, my gosh. We keep getting knocked away. This is crazy. Oh, my gosh. The chaos in here is insane. I love it. Holy cow. All right, come on, come on, <laughs> let's do this. Here we go, and down the tube. And we're moving on to the gumball machine. Here we go, we are now in the gumball machine. Ooh, it looks like we cut in front of a bunch. We might actually make it in there quicker than I thought. We're right on the edge, there we go. We are now in the gumball machine and we are heading down. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Heck yeah, so we are nowhere near first, that is for sure, but that was still a super cool run. Very cool to see all the chaos that happens on this track, especially in uh, the particle accelerator there. That was super awesome. It was kind of holding us back a little bit, but uh, the chaos was just cool. Anyway, we are now rolling down this awesome, awesome gumball machine. This was a super fun build for me. Um, this is probably going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> to roll all the way down here. I don't even know how far we are. Oh, it looks like we're not even to the coffee table yet. Holy cow. Anyway, this was a super fun build. I am just so excited about how well it turned out. And what's super cool is we can actually follow a marble here and we're not obstructed by that pole that I put in the center. So that's really convenient. Um, I think it looks so much better without the cover. Just being able to see the marbles roll down, I think is uh, a much nicer touch than covering it all up. Uh, even though the real ones are covered up, but um, still super cool. All right, so we are almost down. I think we need to go around maybe two more times here, and that should be the end of the course. Uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace! Wow, and I just noticed this, actually, before I end the video, I just noticed that the, the marbles actually spin up here. That's so cool. Like, I didn't even put any boosters in there. It just kind of happens. That's super awesome. Okay, anyway, bye-bye.